Hey y'all, Sarah Luhu here, and we are back again with Stein's Gate, picking up on the heels of a slightly happier episode than the one before last episode. <laughs> um, so basically, we're back on track with the plot. Um, we sent the game out to the past, sent, you know, Suzuha to the past by herself with her memory intact because she would be, you know, sent before the water damaged the time machine and all that and so she lived out her days lived to be 40 something and then passed away from sickness rather than you know suicide which slightly better but she still didn't get to see her dreams come a reality and we still don't have any leads on the IBN 5100 um, we checked the shrine nothing there and so here we are <laughs> back at the lab Still worrying about my Yuri, wondering if death is still coming from her at a turn, and then Kreese who's like, Hey, are you guys a couple? And it's like, what? No, you're crazy. Anyhow. And that's pretty much where we are. Basically, we're down to one lab mem. So anywho, lost forever. There we go. <laughs> Trying to find my cursor. What the hell are you on about? You self-proclaimed bad scientist to be your nutcase. It's been too long since I argued with Karisu like this. It feels like it's been a million years! <laughs> the thought brings a sudden pang of loneliness. After failing to save my Yuri, I sought help from the ge this genius girl. Even though her words were at times harsh, she supported and encouraged me to the end. But now, all of that vanished along with the time we spent with Suzuha. Thank you for your help, Karisu. I silently give her my sincere gratitude. And somebody- I, I'm assuming this is us typing on the computer. I finished typing on the X68000's keyboard and sigh. Then turned to the divergence meter sitting on the shelf. The display reads 0.409431%. What does that mean? It means something's changed, but not enough. The universe is like a piece of yarn. Countless possible world lines exist side by side, branching out to infinity. When the meter runs reads over 1%, you've made it to the beta world line. If you escape the alpha attractor field and reach the beta world line, then the result will change. Reach 1% divergence and you'll save Shina Mayuri. Then does that mean I haven't saved her? Divergence is still less than 1%. Is the world still converging on Mayuri's death? Can't be. Can't be. I mean, nothing happened yesterday. Mayuri's here, safe and sound. So, nothing will happen to her. Won't. I want to believe that, but the doubt within my heart is growing thick and black. I can hardly think about anything else now. No matter how hard I stare at it, the number on the meter doesn't change a digit. So far, reading Steiner has only activated after we sent past changing D-mails. What about when I time leap? The vertigo I feel when I time leap might be because it might be caused by reading Steiner. Or maybe it's just a side effect of the memory transfer? It's impossible to know. In any case, I've prepared for the worst. I've already set the time leap machine's timer to send my memories back three hours into the past. With Dara's help, I found a remote for the 42-inch CRT downstairs. <laughs> Our previous phone wave, named Subject Change Experiments, made a hole in the floor. Instead of fixing the hole, I made it bigger. <laughs> the 40... <clears throat> pardon me. The 42-inch CRT is right under the hole, so if I point the remote at the hole and press the power button, the TV turns on. Now, should things go wrong, I can time leap at a moment's notice. And I also have future gadget number four, Mode Snake, on hand in case of emergencies. Okabe. Kurisu enters the development room. Didn't you say we were going to experiment with the time leap machine? This is just in case. In- Oh, we weren't going to experiment, sorry. In case what? I don't want to answer that. <laughs> I keep praying that my fears will not be realized. 
It's okay. Everything will be okay. They didn't attack yesterday, so they won't attack today. Simple enough, right? At the very least, we have changed Mayuri's fate. But still, I can't help but pray. Please, let Mayuri be safe. Please don't let anything happen. My prayers go unanswered. So we delayed it by a day. The door slams open. Five men burst into the lab. I recognize them, the rounders. They aim their guns at us. I freeze. The spare seizes my heart. My worst fears have come true. It's happening exactly the same as before. Only this time, Susuha isn't here to save us. Oh shit. Problems. Problems. Big problems. <laughs> Hands in the air and opening move. Even the dark skinned man's words are the same. Eventually, the unpleasant clack of heels echoes down the hallway. And Moeka. Um, Moeka san? <sighs> We're taking the time machine. I suppress my terror and grab Miri's arm. Don't move. The crew cut man says something he hasn't before. Makise Kuri. Oh, wait, no, sorry. <laughs> Makise Kurisu, Akabe Rentaru, Hashida Itaru, three of you will come with us. You cannot resist. Come with us. You have nowhere to run. We have men stationed throughout Akihabara. What do I do? Shall I use my concealed mode snake right now? Use it and then time leap? But Mayuri hasn't been killed yet. There's a chance she might not be killed on this world line. Hey, you! The crew cut man points a, his gun at me. My heartbeat jumps up. Cold sweat breaks out all over my body. I said, hands in the air! I've only raised my left. What are you hiding? I have to use it! <laughs> I swallow my fear and activate mode snake. White smoke instantly fills the room, rendering it impossible to see. The rounders won't be able to aim through this. I have to use the time leap while it lasts. I grab Mary's hand and fumble through the smoke towards the development room. Shoot them! I hear the sound of guns firing wildly behind me. Ah! Suddenly, Mayuri's arm gets heavy. I trip forward and land on my face. Mayuri! Our hands were separated in the fall. I grope around and soon find her slender hand. Okay. Mayuri's feeble whisper reaches my ear. Was she hit? The rounder's blind shot hit Mayuri? It hurts. Mayuri's voice quickly fades away. That's not cool. Strange rings from her fingers. Harry, come on, get up! But Mayuri doesn't answer. I'm sorry, Mayuri. Once again, I failed to save you. I thought I'd succeeded, but I was wrong. I hear my teeth grinding in my head. Idiot, get to the damn- <laughs> Get to the damn CRT! Stop! Stop! Don't shoot me! I hear Kurisu and Daru screaming as the gunfire continues. Okay, everybody's dying today! <laughs> A sharp pain flares the top of my head. I press down with my hand and comes away soaked with blood. Uh, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts! Feels like someone took a saw to my skull. Doesn't matter, gotta get to that machine. Ears are ringing. I stumble, I can't stand up straight. I need to get to the time leap machine. You gonna die, son. I squeeze Mary's limp hand one last time, then crawl to the development room, fumble, fumble with the headgear, and put it on. I point the remote at the hole and press the power button. TV turns on downstairs, I can hear people laughing on the screen. Target A, target C, secured. Run, Okabe, run! Shit! I clench my fists in frustration. The time link machine is already activated. Discharge phenomenon is starting. Floor begins shaking. Once again, I leap to the past. <coughs> Will it never end? The constant cycle of just pain and torment. So it literally just delayed it by one day. Ugh. The world collapses and reforms. Once again, I feel that num odd numbness behind my eyes. The pain at the top of my head is gone. I wipe the sweat off my brow and look around. Can't see Moat Snake's vapor anymore. The air is clear. Risa is reading a Western book like usual. Mary's playing a handheld game while eating a banana. 
skills. Daru isn't here. I recall he- or... Mm. <laughs> I recall- I'm sorry, I'm visualizing this. I recall he said he was going out somewhere. May I- I quickly swallow my words. Oh, Karin, you want a banana too? Yeah, no, this is skills. When I wave my hand, no. Mayuri tilts her head quizzically, then goes back to her game. I sink into the sofa and close my eyes. Somehow I resist the urge to scream in frustration. I have to think. I raised our memories with Suzuha. I changed the world line, but it wasn't enough. The divergence meter still reads 0.4%. How do I get it that above 1%? Wait. If I try to solve the problem alone, it will just end up the same way. I need to consult Kurisu. Kurisu, come with me a second. I laid her out of the lab. And explain everything yet again! <laughs> Getting really good at explanations. We sit on the bench in front of the building. Suzuha's bicycle is still absent. What is it? You don't normally say my name normally. Oh, but... Oh, like normally, normally? Okay. Parisu frowns at her own words. Yeah, it, it was a bit... That came out weird. Yeah, yeah, I heard it too. <laughs> Please help me. Now this is a shock. I never thought I'd hear those words from you. Do you have a fever? No jokes, I seriously just need your help. You time leaped, didn't Yeah. I nod. How much do you know? How much do I know about what? How about Suzuha being John Tidor? Eh? Crazy gives me a blank stare. Ah, oh, Mayuri. Oh, Karin, where are you going? A date with Christian? I'm jealous. Our relationship is purely professional. She's my assistant and nothing more. Jealous? Jealous? Do you want to go on a date with me? Oh, I feel like this is being mean to you. To Kurisu right now, so let's just tease my Yuri a bit. I mean, we're right in front of Kurisu, so. Alright, Kurisu gives me a blank stare. It never even occurred to me. Well, I prevented Suzuha from leaving on August 9th, she ended up staying until August 13th. But that outcome had, was changed by my last email. What happened during those four days on this world line? Have you finished the time leap machine? What are you talking about? I finished it yesterday after an all nighter, remember? When did you leap from? 8 p.m. tonight. It looks like I have to explain it all over again. No, oh, more mail? Mary. I want to go on a date. Would you rather go to Sh uh, Sanbo or Kichinjiro? <laughs> oh, Mayuri. An actual date. Scary. <laughs> hmm. I told her about Mayuri's many deaths, about what happened with Suzuha and Moeka. I also gave a summary of what Suzuha told me about the structure of the universe. Carissa doesn't appear to doubt my story. So basically, you win if you get the IBN 5100 back. Kurisu sums up what I told her. This is just a guess, but maybe you should look at what Amane-san said from the opposite angle. I think the critical change takes place when you get the IBN 5100 and raise the data in CERN's database. That instance is most likely when you'll achieve divergence over 1%. The problem is, where's the IBN 5100 now? You already found it once, that is, if your memories are real. If you can get back to the world line where you first obtained it, then isn't it bound to return to ya? Oh... I see, you're right. The IBN 5100 was at the lab and then it suddenly disappeared after we sent the Luca Gmail. Hey, maybe we'll get that Luca path after all! You threw a fit about that earlier. I remember thinking, oh god, Okabe's finally lost his ability to distinguish fantasy from reality. You're such a wannabe American. What do you mean, oh god? Oh, I get it. Christian is Christian. 
wonderful pun work there, okay? <laughs> Risa looks at me in disdain as soon as those words leave my lips. That's terrible. I regret it too. This is no time for puns! So, Christina, uh, let me see if I understand what you're saying. The changes we made to the world line, namely all of the D-mails we've sent, must be reversed. All of them? That will return us to the world line where I found the IBN 5100 at Yanabayashi Shrine. From what I've experienced so far, I'm confident that the IBN 5100's disappearance from the lab wasn't due to theft. After all, I was sleeping at the lab. Whenever I wasn't around, another labman was. The lab was occupied every hour of the day. It would have been impossible for someone to steal that heavy computer without anyone noticing. It makes more sense to assume that a D-mail caused us to diverge from the world line where I found the IBN 5100 at Yanabayashi Shrine. It's still a hypothesis. I only came to that conclusion based on your explanation. If you're mistaken in your facts, deceiving me or shooting off delusions, then the hypothesis will fail. The assistant of mine has no confidence in me at all. You can't just blindly follow the hypothesis either. You may have a safety net, but if you get careless and leave yourself without a way off... Out, sorry. <laughs> then you'll never get another chance to save my Yuri. I know that. I'd ask for Suzuha's opinion too, if she were here, but on this world line she traveled to 1975 on the night of August 9th. There's no way I could speak to her now. Why did the IBN 5100 disappear? Which of the D-mails caused its disappearance? Figure that out, and you're well on your way to finding the solution. What I don't understand is how we delayed the timing of Mayuri's death exactly 24 hours. True, that is interesting. Maybe it's related to the change of divergence. It could be the butterfly effect. If that's the case, any trivial change could produce a, significant devi uh, a significantly deviant result. Anyway, it's important to act with discretion. Don't do anything careless. Your death, Okabe, is the worst thing that could possibly happen. You're probably the only person who can remember previous world lines. If you die, then consider me Yuri dead for good. Don't die, okay? You're not worried about me, are you? Wh what Don't be ridiculous. Why should I care? I'm not worried about you, okay? Don't get the wrong idea. So soon, Dari. <laughs> I just don't want to lose about you the bull test subject, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> that brain of yours has accumulated memories spanning world lines and time leaps. It's a precious sample that can't rewrite the history of neuroscience. I want to map your brain and find out just what's going on in there. In other words, your time leaping helps me too. After all, the time leap machine is the fruit of my research, so to speak, and I... Calm down, woman! <laughs> it's just the brain! Getting so flustered, Carisi turns away with a sour expression. This assistant of mine can be so difficult sometimes. Anyway, I can her hypothesis. In order to return to the world line where I found the IBN 5100 at Yanabayashi Shrine, we need to cancel all D-mails we sent so far. Very sound, and I've got nothing else to go on. I checked the clock. It's 6.42 p.m. Only one hour until Malika's raid. I decide to time leap once more. It's the afternoon of the 13th, just before the time leap machine is completed. Christina, I'm going to give this play of yours a shot. Oh, g great. I take Carisi's hand and grasp it firmly. Huh? You've been a great help. Sorry for the trouble. D don't apologize, dummy. It's confusing. And besides, I don't even remember helping you before. How are you going to take responsibility for this? Why is she getting mad at me? I just don't understand her. I wish I could remember too. Then I'd always have something to rub in your nose. <laughs> you really have an awful personality. But so do I! Deep, 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 deep down. After much horrible trauma. <laughs> You're one to talk. <laughs> ah, with that, I leap 28 hours into the past. Time leap complete. I'm standing in the lab, as usual. My brain feels like it's been pinched. 
I endure the pain as I check my watch. It's 1.47 p.m. Karis is almost done with the time leap machine, and Mayuri's almost done with Lukaku's costume. That sh they should both be done in about 10 minutes. I leave the lab and sit on the bench in front of the brown tube workshop. Let's go over the plan. Cancel all the d-mails that have changed the past so far. Of course, that includes d-mails sent by people other than me. Specifically, I'm only concerned with the emails that triggered reading Steiner. We sent several of them as experiments. For example, Operation Erd Stage 2, the Lotto 6 experiment involving one such email. But the real problem is what other people sent. Mayuri and Karisu haven't sent any emails. Daru sent his past self a strategy to win the Ferris Cup, but reading Steiner didn't activate, so the divergence must not have changed. We also had Ferris. So, because Ferris did the one that changed the entire layout of the Kiva. Oh, wait, maybe it was Ferris and not Luca. But Luca had a big change too, right? I think the IBM went missing after Luca. Unless I got that mixed. I don't know, there's so many memories there now. <laughs> We're getting too much information. That leaves three D mails to deal with um, those sent by Moeka, Lukako, and Ferris. I don't remember Moeka's. <laughs> the most problematic one is the one the Ferris sent, which is uh, also the most recent. I have no idea what it said, so I don't know how to cancel it. Ferris's email caused a dramatic change to Akiba. All of the Moe stories disappeared. That's my only hint. I'm the only one who remembers how things were before the change, so I won't get an answer from Ferris even if I ask her directly. But still, I have to at least try. I should get in touch with her. Wait, what was that? First, let's try contacting her by phone. Oh, is that an indicator to tell me? Oh, wait, I need addresses, don't I? Uh, Ferris. The ringtone echoes in my ears. It's not connecting. Damn. Well, I stab the end button and open up my mailbox. I'll write it to Ferris a mail. Please respond. It's Okabe. It's urgent. Contact me. There's no time. Just give it to her straight. I send it. Afterwards, I sit and stare at the screen, waiting. I've already tried sending three mails and calling four or five times, but 30 minutes pass without a single response. Unable to hide my frustration, I storm off towards Ferris's apartment. I arrive at the tall apartment building, soaked in sweat. I've been running an awful lot lately. It made me realize how out of shape I am. I wish I worked out more. This complex has an automatic lock, so I have to call up from the lobby intercom. I enter the number for Ferris's apartment, and a man's calm voice soon replies. Uh, may I ask who's calling? Judging by the voice, it's not Ferris's dad, but her butler. Um, my name's Okabe. <laughs> like to speak with Fair, I mean, Re Rumiho-san? <laughs> I regret to inform you that young mistress is currently out. Then where is she now? I'm afraid I cannot answer that. You may be someone with whom she does not wish to interact. I've been here before, remember? Of course, sir. However, I still cannot disclose the location of the young mistress. Please contact her directly. He's obviously trying to end the conversation, so I panicked to get in the last the last word in. But please, wait. I've been trying to get in touch with Ferris, but she's not returning my calls or emails. Then please try again some other time. Good. <laughs> Frustrated by the new turn of events, my anger threatens to boil over. Damn inflexible geezer. I leave the lobby. May Queen plus Neon to the second power doesn't exist on this world line. Ferris isn't responding to my calls or emails either. Where could she be? Underneath the incandescent heat of the sun, I suddenly get an idea. Daru. If anyone knows where Ferris is, it'd be that stalker of hers. <laughs> Daru, my broski. Direct me. Yo, Corinne. Hmm. It's awfully noisy on the other end of the phone. 
But I don't care about that. Are we at a Ragnet tournament? <laughs> Damn, do you happen to know where Ferris is right now? Ferris turn? I need to talk to her right now. Right now? That's not gonna happen. Just tell me where she is. You keep tabs on all the times, don't you? I know where she is, sure. Where? Where is she? The UPX assembly hall. UPX? I look up. I'm standing right in front of UPX. Lucky! Why the assembly hall? Today's the finals of Rynet ABGC. Rynet ABGC? Short for Rynet Access Paddler's Grand Championship, duh! It's the finals, man. Ferris is participating. Ferris Tan was the winner of this year's Winter GC, so she's defen the defending champion, just so you know. She's in the finals, huh? Well, she is the best. I'm here too, spectating. Matches already start, man. So that's why. I'm head there now, what for? Do you have a ticket? No, but I'll manage. <laughs> oh no, man, security's pretty tight. Someone posted threats on that channel. Pretty sure you're not getting it. Then you come out? I'm in front of the UPX. Can you lend me your ticket? No way! It'll end at four, so you can can't you just wait until then? Hey, Daru! Daru! Ugh. Unflexible bastard. I'll just have to bypass security through my amazing powers of mad science tree. <laughs> I'll get past this somehow. Looks like I don't have a choice. All I can do is wait, like Daru suggested, or we'll do that. Amazing powers of science tree! <laughs> That works. At four o'clock, tons of people will be out of the building. They're mostly parents with children, but there are also men and women in their 20s and 30s. Seems like a wide customer base. Some people are dressed in cosplay, and others are carrying Rynet goods in paper bags. They're the ones you'd expect to be here. Maybe I should try calling Ferris again. Do 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 Ferris. Ferris. Pick up the phone, Ferris. Why won't she pick up? My frustration peaks. I tell myself to calm down, but it doesn't work. One obstacle after another, I'm on the verge of losing it. I pace back and forth as I watch the exiting crowd. Try calling Daru again. Now he's even he's not answering. Looks like I don't have a choice. Excuse me! I approach several men gathered near the APX entrance. They've got tattered leather jackets and excessive silver accessories. Not the sort of people I usually hang out with. Do you wear, know where Rynet Champion Ferrisan is? What? <laughs> they suddenly give me a dangerous look. What is this outfit, man? <laughs> Rynet Champion Ferrisan? <laughs> you guys hear that? The man tosses a grin to the other members of his posse. Snobby, unpleasant laughter resounds. I struggle to suppress my anger. If you know, then please tell me. Now the man directs his grin towards me. What? You're a friend of the former champ? Man who seems to whisper to Gaia to shine more? <laughs> former champ? So she lost, that's why she's not picking up. While I'm puzzling this out, the man suddenly steps right up into my face. <laughs> Did he just slap me? Bitch, you gonna die! <laughs> Something smashes into my forehead. Stars explode behind my eyes. I fall onto my back. It's hot above my brow, as if a branding iron was pressed to it. Did he headbutt me? But it quickly fades to a dull throbbing. I finally realized this nutcase headbutted me. What the hell? Why would he do that? Did I do something to this guy? Or is he just a Ferris hater? Anti! <laughs> I stagger to my feet. The man stoops to pick up his hat, which fell off when he headbutted me. That's when I see it. Right on the top of his head, there's a small space devoid of hair. There's no way I can miss it. A bald spot? Did... Did Ferris rip off your hair? Sorry, but you asked for it. <laughs> it made my dirty heart ache to hear you call that pussy a champion. Bitch, you're gonna die. But, I mean, cat theme, so... <laughs> Get it? Don't you ever call that disgusting cat girl champion to my face again. 
Not unless you want your body and soul frozen by yours truly, the king of the streets, the one and only Black Absolute for Celsius, degree Celsius. Uh, what, what the hell is this guy talking about? He's obviously living in his own stupid world, much like I was once. <laughs> no names, four degrees Celsius. That's Shido, you get me? I'm the strongest and coolest runner to ever rule the streets of Akiba. Nobody comes close. Nobody. Uh, did you know dry ice is so cold it burns? That's not a burn, it's frostbite. What? <laughs> When I point out the scientific truth, the man with the bald spot and his lackeys get pissed. This doesn't look good. I don't have time to get into a fight. And yet, here you are. I decided to stage a tactical retreat. Uh, afterwards, I go to the assembly hall and ask the staff about Ferris. No luck. When I try calling Dara again, he says maybe she went home already? In a bummed out voice. Well, we'll try again! I return to Ferris's apartment building and ring the intercom again. The butler responds once more. Unfortunately, that's where we're going to end the episode for today. Thoughts and opinions. Alright, so I thought things changed after Luca, but I guess it must have been after Ferris. Huh. So I could have sworn it was Ferris, but... I mean, Luca, not Ferris. <laughs> Anything, but I guess it was Ferris because the changing of the layout of Akiva to more focused and away from the Mo is probably what altered where the IBN 5100 would show up. Because it would be probably more desired in the more like technology focused Akiva that we're in right now. Where it would just be kind of bummed off in the more anime Mo stuff that we were seeing in the previous world line. So I guess it is kind of Ferris's fault. Alright, but does this... Because if we're going how I think we're going, then I'm going to take a guess and say that we're going to get a similar option like we did with Suzuha, where we can either send the email or not send the email that will cancel out the previous email. And I'm guessing that's how we get endings here. So I'm guessing we're going to go with a uh, Ferris ending soon. <laughs> um, so that's going to be fun. But that guy, the four degrees Celsius douche, um, I'm assuming he probably beat her, but I'm thinking a cheater. That or, because I, I can't see Ferris losing to a little shit like that. You know, something's up here. It has to be cheating. Because there's just no way she would lose out to that. Um... But yeah, I'm trying to think what other, because I guess Moika did send one, but did she send it from our phone? Can't quite remember. And stuff, because that's going to be weird with how this works out, because we know Luca's. I guess we know Moika's. I'm not sure what hers was, but I can't remember at the moment. It was a while ago, though. Um... And Ferris's was hidden from us, so the only way we're going to know or be able to guess, but even then, you know, she's not going to really know because her entire world line changed too from birth. Hmm. I think we have guesses. I need to go back and look at her stuff again. But, um, that's going to be it for this episode. Next time, I'm guessing Ferris ending? I don't know. We'll see how this plays out. So until then, like and subscribe if you want to. And thank you for watching. <laughs>